Have you ever wondered about wire connectors and how many wires in a wire nut? Now stick around and we'll talk about it. Got a wire uh, new special construction. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what the pros use for wire connectors or wire nuts. Uh, basically, we have four major groups. Uh, the smallest would be our 331. We call them 31s for short. They're a small orange wire nut or wire connector. Next up would be the 333, or we call them 33s for short. These come in blue, um, they come in yellow, two major types. These are the most common ones that we use. There's a yellow one. And they have the twist on side connectors uh, or the twist on side arms to get better torque. Next comes the 335 or the 35 as we call them, the red. We use those uh, a lot on home wiring. And then finally, the 337, or sorry, the 39. So we use a 39 uh, for our bigger wires. Now, how many wires in a wire nut? Each manufacturer has different specifications, but off the side of this, the small orange wire nuts, you can fit two pieces of number 14 underneath one of these wire nuts, and then they go up from there. Um, so check your manufacturer specifications on the side of the box. I'm not sure if that'll focus. Yeah. Each box or uh, container will have specifications on how many you can stick under. So for example, we can stick five number 18 wires under this for low voltage, which uh, is what we use for uh, communication wiring. They're not much more, they're not much uh, good for anything other than using for light fixtures. When we get into making splices for connections at home or connections for number 14, we usually go up to the blue ones. And the blue ones will allow you up to four number 14s. So that's probably pushing it a little bit. Um, I'm comfortable with using three number 14s. So what we'll do is we'll usually strip back about an inch on the end of the wire. Um, and then line the three of them up. Twist them together in a counterclockwise motion. And then twist these on in a counterclockwise motion. That gives you a good connection. And sometimes we'll even take our pliers and give them a little extra turn. When we get into the larger amount of 14s, so for example if we're doing up a gangable switch box with uh, a number of neutrals or a number of hot connections and you get five and six wires underneath the same one, we'll go to the bigger reds. Um, and those will take up to, let me see here, number 14. So seven number 14s and then there's a variety of combos with different uh, ones on here uh, but usually we're comfortable with using five or six on this just looking here yeah okay and then last but not least we go to the 39s which those are for big connections so we will use those like for example three number 10s um, sorry, four number 10s you can use on that. Number 14, you can use nine number 14s, um, which is quite a bit. Um, and we'll even use it on like number number eights. So if we have to junction a, a, a stove or anything like that, anything bigger than that, guys, and we'll go to a split bolt. Um, and anything smaller is than the 331s is really not worth using. So I just want to have a word about uh, the difference between wire connectors and uh, wire nuts and these push-in wire connectors. So there's a lot of these push-in wire connectors coming out on the market. There's a lot of pros and cons about those push-in wire connectors, the Waco connectors, the different brands of connectors. We do use them on low amperage draw circuits only. So for example, um, pot lights. All the new uh, slim design pot lights with the little box connectors have the little pushing connectors inside. We will use those consistently when we're wiring up pot lights and we'll push our wires into those. 
Keep in mind that those just have a little clamp that the wire shoves in underneath so the connection point is minimum which is fine for small LED loads um, however when you get into your larger loads like a receptacle uh, the same as uh, what we don't recommend is pushing the wire into the back of the receptacle we always recommend wrapping the wire around the receptacle itself to give more contact the same is with these wire connectors so if you have uh, a number of pieces of 14 and you're trying to uh, put a receptacle together, we always recommend to use marrets and simply because, or sorry, wire nuts, because uh, you can twist the wires together, you can twist the wire nut right on them, as opposed to the pushing connector, you're just shoving them in the back and it makes a minimum connection. So what happens is you're fine with lower loads, but if you load it up, for example, a heater, if you plug in a heater, the weakest point is going to burn up in that connector and that connector will the pushing connector will heat up we've seen it before um, and melt so you don't want to get into that situation when you go with the when you go with the trusty old wire nuts or murrets or whatever you guys want to call them um, you're pretty apt to say that you're going to get a good solid connection providing that you do it right and that's a uh, twist in a clockwise motion and also twist the wire nut on in a clockwise motion and give it a couple extra turns with your pliers just to make sure that uh, it's on there properly. So again, check the, uh, the manufacturer's specifications on what you can use um, and uh, each box. But the, the four major types to us are the 331s, the 333s, the 335s, and the, uh, the big th uh, 39s which will take right up to piece number six by the way so uh, we've actually we've actually uh, connected two pieces of number six together in one of these anyway I'm just babbling on here um, hope you like what you see uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video